It's been two days since the non-indictment of Tamir Rice's killers. And in those two days, I have gone through a gamut of emotions. Um, I started off just feeling numb, just feeling like this, obviously this was going to happen when we look at what happened with Sandra Bland and Eric Gardner and all the other cases that went to grand juries, none of them got justice. And I think that I was caught in this, air, in this way of feeling like there's no, there's no justice to be had and just that the system is very broken. But I was actually watching this Google, um, I was watching videos on Facebook and then like a video automatically popped up that was sponsored by Google. And it talked about um, the year in review and um, how what we searched for on Google defined what uh, <clears throat> the year was like and what we were, who we really were. And one of the things that it had um, was a Black Lives Matter protest and how, like, how is racial prejudice still, like, alive in America as a search term. And I don't know, like, what about that video, which was kind of corny, like, struck me, but it did. And I just broke down in tears and I just felt so so lost and so like what what was this beautiful year with so many victories and so many moving so many ways that we have moved forward and really triumphed and fought like this year has been such a trial and just to have Tamir not get any justice like at the end of the year just seems it just like it was this weight of like if Tamir doesn't get any justice, like, what are we doing this for? And I still am struggling with that. I'm still struggling with how we can reconcile what we are doing with the immediacy of the brokenness of our system and the immediacy of our inability to get justice for Tamir without taking to the streets and how we're told to rely on, on grand juries and told to rely on the criminal justice system and, and, and it doesn't work. And just thinking about how, how best to honor Tamir and to like figure out like what we, how we're going to get justice for Tamir and how we're going to prevent this kind of thing from happening again.